Hey everybody. Today I want to be working with mail and specifically how to create smart mailboxes. So let's say I want to create a specific smart mailbox. Or all I would have to do, um, and by the way, we are working with smart mailboxes and rules as well. So let's say I want to create a new uh, smart mailbox. I would simply go up here and click add, give a name to my smart mailbox. And so let's say, oh, I don't know. Um, a, B. And then I'm going to have it come for from a different email address. One that I'm not going to show on the video, but I'm going to for now put it on. It's going to say, ah, whoops, I need to edit this because I messed up. Edit smart mailbox, so here you go. So we're going to type in the rest of the email address. And hit OK. Content. So, if the fr this says basically, if the from um, account contains this email address, then put the, that message in to this particular folder. Let's try it. I'm going to try it off screen. So let's see if we can get a message to show up. There it is. So it this account automatically got the um, message into this specific folder. Did it skip my inbox? Let's check it out. Yep. Skipped the inbox and went straight into here. So that's smart mailboxes. Now let's check out uh, rules. So rules can be created also pretty easily. I believe it's in mailbox. Uh, nope, I believe you have to go to preferences. And from here, go to rules. And create, add a new rule. And here you can see again, if a message comes in from a, a specific email and here are the par parameters so you can have it um, from come in from the sender or to a specific email address which would have to be the email address that you're work in the account you're working with um, or the date it was sent. So there are a bunch of different rules that you can um, set here to create the new rule. Um, so let's say the messages that contain Twitter. So if I were to go and uh, 
message content and have Twitter, for example, as the name. And then say here that the only keyword that I want selected would be Twitter. Then well, I can move the message, or actually, I can also do all these things, including copy a message into a different folder, which is what we'll try now, and then select hopefully the. Oh, you can't move it to the smart folder. But let's say I wanted to mark it as um, move it to the trash. Yeah, it needs to be in the trash, right? So I want to say that. Now, this will automatically place every message that has uh, Twitter in it will cre be created to m move to the trash. And I just hit OK. And then it asks you, do you want to apply the rules to messages in, selected, in the selected mailbox? And I'm going to say no for now. So it can apply to messages of new messages that come in. And that's that. And that's how you would work with uh, smart mailboxes and creating rules in Apple Mail. You have to uh, basically Create the rules that work best for you. Here's one rule that I wish w I could figure out why it isn't working. Because um, this rule is supposed to be for or this mailbox, is supposed to be for today, messages that are coming today. So I'm going to see if I can edit this, this mailbox and see what options I have here to edit. Here I can um, say that date received, that, that's probably the error. It should say date received and that date should be today. And then you click OK and that should fix that mailbox. Anyway, adding, adding rules and smart mailboxes are a great way to organize your mailbox and achieve that um, the secret to inbox zero. Um, this is just a, a beginner's look into Apple Mail's rules and um, smart mailboxes. Apple Mail has gotten a bad rap for not being or have as much as many features as other uh, mail applications, but I use it to um, make sure the integration between the OS and the application is the best that it can be. And when working with any Apple product, it's best to use the applications that they provide for full integration. All right, guys, I hope you guys found this helpful. And please like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you can see future videos coming. And share this video with anyone you think might benefit from it. All right, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Oh,